The beaver is the only rodent in North America that's larger than our North American porcupine, and there are about 40 species of porcupines in the world today. Can you imagine? Who would have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? All these little whites here, those are just nice soft hairs, but up here you can see on her face, all of those are all quills on the side. There are only two places on a North American porcupine's body where there are no quills. It's nose and then its entire underbelly. So the underbelly with no quills makes it a very vulnerable place uh, for a porcupine. If it gets tipped over, some bad things can happen. And they have a big chunky body, a very chunky body, and a small face, short legs, and a short thick tail. I've had porcupines that had short squat tails, and the porcupine I have with me today has a much longer tail. <clears throat> they can range from about four pounds to nearly 40 pounds, and the average is about 20 pounds. So my porcupine today, I call her the new one. Her name is the new one. Uh, the new one weighs, I would say, about 15 pounds. Their upper parts of their body are covered with thousands. They say up to 30,000 sharp, barbed, hollow spines or quills or modified hairs, which are used always as defense. There's no other reason for it. Uh, they don't throw their quills. That's one of the great old myths about porcupines, but the quills become detached very easily. Easily. So um, especially if they're shaking their tail, maybe a quill will come up, but it's not throwing quills at you at all. Uh, they're a rodent. That's why they're always gnawing. Rodents need to gnaw all the time because their teeth are constantly growing, constantly growing, constantly growing. Um, but they're really, their molars don't look much different than yours. They're, they fall out of trees regularly. Great climbers, clumsy as all get out. And of course what they want to do is they want to go to the ends of the trees and nip along the tender buds. And those aren't going to hold an animal that weighs Hugely 20 pounds. salt driven. And this is where they get into a lot of trouble. They'll go to the edges of road to eat salt and they can get hit by cars there. Um, they love eating plywood. Plywood's treated with salt. I'm not an advocate for keeping a wild animal as a pet, by the way. It is illegal to do that. But she was very, very special in that she, there was just something not right with her. But what made Pacer so important was her value as an animal for education. Um, she was just a charmer and the public loved her.